welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Shannon and today I am doing a pregnancy update so I am 33 weeks pregnant about 33 weeks and five days or so and I am in my pajamas <laughs> this is a very casual cozy catch up with you guys um I have filmed this video today once already but my memory card like crashed and I lost all of the footage so really annoying I was gonna film it tomorrow but I thought you know what before I go to bed before I take off my makeup I mean I'm barely wearing any anymore anyway so again sorry about that but I just wanted to fill you guys in so if you follow me on Instagram um you might know that I um spent a few hours in hospital last week um with the baby everything is absolutely fine I'm not like I don't want to scare you or anything like that everything's fine thank goodness um but i had to go in because i had noticed some reduced movements um they are very hot on it like on all of the kind of paperwork they give you and things like that it's very much just if you've got reduced movements let them know and i had been thinking it felt like he hadn't moved um as much like he was still moving yeah we decided that i should probably just speak to the hospital and check that everything was okay. I would say to any of you guys, if you're having a similar thing, don't wait, just as soon as you think you've noticed, like if it gets to the end of the day and you think, I've not felt a move today or felt the baby move today, just call your midwife or the hospital, um, whoever you've got as a contact on your notes because that's what they say to do. I am a very much a warrior, so I thought maybe I was just being a hypochondriac or something like that. Um, but I just think you can never be too careful with these things. The thing that kind of made me go so so in the end is I'd had a couple of days of reduced movement and then one night I was just in so much pain. I just woke up with my side just hurting so much. There was like such strong stabbing pains and I was like howling <laughs> with how painful it was. And I just thought it just didn't seem right. So <clears throat> that morning I decided to, yeah, call the hospital and they told me to come straight in. If you... Um, wondering what kind of happens or this is my experience anyway I went in I went in with Ollie we were in a bit of a flat because we were running late because there was traffic the weather was horrible we parked um, and then the we didn't think we had enough change on us so we just decided to do the like pay on your app kind of thing um, so we kind of took the number down and started doing that process as we were walking into the hospital and we got up to where we needed to be and the payment screen was just not loading. So Ollie had to run back down to the car and pay by cash, like luckily we did have enough. Um, but yes, yeah, so that was just a bit like unnecessary stress, obviously with the worry of the baby and stuff being like heightening everything. Um, and then we... Yeah, we went to where we needed to go, which was the Maternity Assessment Unit, MAU, I think it was called. And yeah, so we got there and they had a form for me to fill out. And it was basically to say that I had no COVID symptoms. Um, and also that my partner who was with me had no COVID symptoms. So yeah, it was all seeming good. It was seeming like he was going to be allowed in. Um, he'd been allowed to come to scans now and things. So we kind of thought he'd be allowed to come in. Um and yeah we spoke to a couple of nurses and stuff and they saw he was there and they spoke to him and no one said anything and then when I got called in she said you're not allowed in you have to go and wait outside and it wasn't even that you had, could, he could wait in the waiting room like she told me I had to go and wait outside of the hospital yet when I came out of all of this there were so many men in the waiting room waiting so yeah it was a bit weird but anyway so that was quite sudden and it kind of tipped me over the edge a little bit I was very panicky and just anxious and I just wanted Ollie with me went in I'd taken a wee sample with me <laughs> I don't know if it makes me weird but I hate doing wee samples like on the spot um you know when you go to the doctor and they like give you the little tube and they tell you to go off and do it I just don't like doing that. I would rather do it in the comfort of my own home and take it with me, which is what the midwives have kind of said that I can do all along and that's what I've been doing in the process. So yeah, I'd kind of done that and like prepared to take it with me because I thought they might want to look at a sample. Um, but when I said that to her, she was like, oh no, we need you to do one here. So again, that was something that makes me feel uncomfortable. And I know some of you are probably watching this like man up you're gonna have a baby <laughs> but I think just everything in general like hospitals aren't a nice place to be and 
we're worried about the baby and covid and everyone's wearing masks and you know like it's just a weird time right now and this is just my experience and my opinion so please don't think i'm just moaning or you know like i know there's a lot worse stuff going on in the world and i know i do need to kind of suck it up a little bit but it's just how i felt and sometimes you feel stronger than others don't you but yeah this particular day wasn't feeling so strong and yeah i went in um they gave me a cardboard like bowl to, to, to wee in and she was like waiting outside the door which made me feel under pressure and I just I just felt very overwhelmed in the toilet and I had the most embarrassing situation where I <laughs> weed in the bowl and I wanted to check that it definitely like gone in the bowl so I like stopped like midway to check before finishing my wee in case I don't know like I just overthink I overthink okay <laughs> I've got no excuse um but as I pulled it out to like look I was wearing some new maternity like jogging bottom things and obviously they had the big like over the bump panel so it's like more fabric there than like normal trousers and I don't know like I hadn't pulled it I don't know I don't know what happened but the pot got caught on the fabric and it spilt all over me all over my trousers all over my hand all over the floor and it broke me it broke me I was just crying and I was like covered in wee and I was worried about the baby and I just wanted Ollie and I knew the nurse was waiting outside and it just was a lot like I just felt very overwhelmed um so yeah that happened okay sorry if the lighting's changed or if the angle's changed my battery just died which is so annoying because i put in a fresh battery so obviously it's a broken battery i'm just having a really bad day for tech it would seem but anyway so yeah <laughs> stopped mid wee story but yeah that happened and i didn't really know what to do and i just felt really overwhelmed so i kind of like cleaned up the floor cleaned up myself and did my wee sample and then I came out and I just was like crying and I was like um this just happened and she was so lovely she was you know saying like it was the best place for it to happen they see it all there and everything else so yeah it was fine I went into the ward and I was like on a bed and stuff they pulled the curtain and they told me to take my mask off because I was like hyperventilating a bit. I was quite stressed and um, yeah, I had to calm my breathing down for her to do my blood pressure because she was like, if I do your test right now, it's not going to be very accurate because you're very stressed. So yeah, I took a minute, I calmed down, had some water and then yeah, they did my blood pressure, said that was fine and then they took my temperature. Um, which was just a little like metal stick under my tongue. I don't think I've ever done it that way before. But yeah, under my tongue. And then she put something on my finger. And then once all that was done, um, they strapped me up to a baby heartbeat machine thing. So they put two monitors on my tummy. I'm not sure what they both were for really, but one, like she found his heartbeat and it was like on his heartbeat. So straight away I could hear his heartbeat on, my, on the machine. So, you know, she said that sounded good from the off. And then there was another monitor higher up and they're both like strapped quite tightly to my tummy. And yeah, so after having days of like barely any movement, this, um, one of the monitors, um, I don't know if it, I don't know if it was doing something to like make him move or if it was where it was strapped tightly, but he was nudging that so much like through the whole, whole monitoring time. Um, they gave me like a little button, which was a clicker. So every time he moved, I had to click that. Um, yeah. And so I was just listening to his heartbeat for that whole time. I think I was being monitored for about an hour and a half and yeah, everything was absolutely fine. The pains had gone away at this point and they said they didn't know why I was getting those, but if I got them again to call and if I noticed any change in movement again to call, um, it all just felt a bit scary, but everything's absolutely fine. And since kind of having that experience, I popped it on my stories because if you don't follow me on my Instagram, my name is at Shannon Lorraine. I will put it here, um, but I kind of talk about things a bit more regularly on there, obviously, than my channel. Um, yeah, I mentioned that I'd had that experience and so many of my followers said they'd had the same. So some people said they were in like multiple times throughout their pregnancy with reduced movement. Some people said they had to go in every day with it and things like that. So 
yeah, I don't think it's abnormal, but I do think you should get it checked if you experience it. So that's probably the biggest kind of update or thing that's happened over the last couple of weeks. Um, aside from that, we are pretty much ready. We've got the things we need, we think. Um, so we've got his monitor this week. We got um, some nappies, like we already had some, but we bought lots more and we watched, oh, we went to um, an antenatal Zoom, which was brilliant actually. Again, because I um, had posted on my Instagram stories that my hospital had told me that they were fully booked and we couldn't go to their antenatal classes, even though it's on Zoom, which I just find silly because no one really talks on them anyway. So what's it to them if there's an extra person? I don't know. Especially for a first time mum, I think, how can you deny them of that? like information I don't know seemed a bit silly but anyway I said on my stories that I couldn't go to one and one of my lovely followers actually said she worked for a woman's hospital or something like that in Liverpool and that they were doing a class and did I want to go to it and I was like yes please so me and Ollie sat and watched that and that was so brilliant and just so helpful it was actually an after birth Class. so I think I'd missed the antenatal ones or I wasn't allowed to go to those or something like that but this one was more about once the baby's here um, about sleeping and eating and changing and just like how important it is to keep them at a good temperature and all sorts like stuff that we just didn't know um, I mean obviously a lot of it is kind of common sense but lots of it isn't as well and things change all the time so yeah, that was really helpful and I'm so grateful to that lovely lady for letting us join the Zoom. And after I kind of did that, I had a email from my hospital to say that they had added some extra classes and did I want to join that. So we did that one on Saturday, which was a two hour Zoom, but it actually ended up going on for like two and a half hours. We actually had to leave early in the end, because, well not early, but before she finished talking because it had overrun by half an hour and we had to go somewhere. Um, and that was a antenatal one so that I think that's the right word it was a before the baby's born one so it's just talking about labor and choices and everything like that and that was that was useful but it was just a lot like um the one that we watched the Liverpool one there was like a lot of demonstrations and a lot of slides and things like that whereas this second one was a lot more intense it was just being talked at and yeah it wasn't as easy to kind of take in the information but it was still helpful so other than that heartburn still very much a thing i'm still living on the rennies like every night at least <laughs> i'm having rennies it kind of kicks in from about six o'clock that i start to get heartburn although i've not had it yet tonight um i actually had someone comment on my previous video asking if i could answer a question and that was if i've got any embarrassing stories um or embarrassing symptoms from being pregnant i think the wee thing is kind of embarrassing <laughs> so yeah there's that one um but in terms of symptoms she asked if i had like flatulence <laughs> or whatever and i actually haven't really um I know that some people do for me what I've had is burping like I used to be someone I think I've said this before who never understood burping like I used to think people were kind of like forcing them I didn't think it was something I don't know like I just never got the urge to burp but since being pregnant and I think it kind of falls in with the heartburn thing I just burp so much it's probably really good that I don't work in an office because anymore because I would have just sat there burping like I don't get much warning <laughs> um so yeah that is probably like the embarrassing thing but it's not embarrassing because it's just my body and it's just what's happening so yeah there's that um but yeah I thought that was a really nice thing that she asked a question for me to answer in the next video so if you're watching this and you've got any pregnancy related questions then do let me know and I will try and answer them in the next one I don't actually know oh my watch is going off loads what's going on um I don't actually know um how many more updates there are going to be before I have the baby but yeah if you've got any questions let me know and other symptoms my back has been better I've been sleeping with my pregnancy pillow which is just a like a v-shaped um pillow I got it on the Amazon Prime Day thing but it was from mother care I think so yeah there's loads of those about so it's just a v-shaped pregnancy pillow and I've been kind of sleeping with it more around my like 
like top half whereas when I first got it I really needed it for my back so I was keeping it like sleeping with it between my legs and that really really helped and I think it's kind of helped for my back to get better um in general so yeah it's not so bad now I am just feeling really big like I am aware that I've put on a lot of weight as well since being pregnant like when I look back like my face <laughs> I've definitely got chubby face and yeah I've just put on a lot of weight my arms are looking a lot bigger um considering I'd got to like a size that I really liked when we went to Florida in February yeah I've put on a lot of weight <laughs> um, but that's okay I've been eating what I feel like I need to eat and we're in lockdown and weight really isn't everything um yeah <laughs> i know it's important to be healthy and i'm still eating all of my veggies and fruit and stuff but i'm just probably eating more chocolate than i should be um but yeah <laughs> obviously i'm growing a baby too so my my tummy is bigger um and what else what else I normally talk about skin skin is fine I've got a couple of chin spots which is like where I get hormonal spots um I haven't had any headaches or anything like that I am tired like very tired but I'm trying to not nap in the day really um I'm trying to stick to quite a normal sleep routine although yeah someone said I should probably get used to napping in the day um for when the baby's here but yeah at the minute I'm kind of sleeping fairly normal hours um, except for obviously getting up in the night and probably getting less sleep than I'm used to or pre-pregnancy but again that's just training isn't it <laughs> um, so yeah I'm still up in the night for a wee which I never used to be before being pregnant um, but yeah in general I get out of breath a lot easier like a lot easier I feel him here like on my ribs I can just constantly feel him pushing against me there um, which is obviously squashing everything up and it does just make it quite hard to breathe and it's really frustrating because the only way we're kind of allowed to socialise with people at the minute um, with the lockdown restrictions or tier one, two, three restrictions, whatever, is to go for a walk outside and that's lovely but when you want to chat away and talk to people you've not seen face to face in ages but you've also got to walk around and <laughs> you're pregnant, it is hard work, like it sounds silly but I'm huffing and puffing and even vlogging like I've, I just want to walk around vlogging and I'm just out of breath and you don't want to hear me huffing and puffing so yeah it's that's a bit a bit annoying <laughs> um, I'd like if I wasn't huffing and puffing but it's part of it and I'm gonna really miss my bump when he's here obviously it'll be amazing he's here but I think I'm gonna miss being pregnant um I've really enjoyed it and I really enjoy having a little bump and yeah I can't believe how quickly it's come around like he is due next month next month so it's mid december at the minute he's due 30th of jan anything can happen so this week um i'm going to make a start on washing his clothes i'm going to pack my hospital bag and yeah just get ready ollie has um wet vac to the car fabrics just because I know he's not really going to be on those but we just wanted the car to feel like really nice and fresh for him so we can then put the isofix base in he's going to do all the carpets in the house because baby spend a lot of time on the floor and I know again though I see he'll mostly be on a mat but yeah we just want things to feel really clean and fresh for him and yeah I finished Hamilton now for the year so there was quite a lot of stock and stuff in his room and there's still a bit and I know he won't go in his room straight away but I do just want it to feel like nice and lovely um so yeah I'm gonna finish sorting that out and just it's just kind of like nesting isn't it and just we're nearly there and it's mental so yeah I think that's pretty much the updates I've got for you I'm sorry that it was a bit waffly and I'm sorry I look like this and I'm about to go to bed <laughs> in my pajamas but I thought I'd rather just get this filmed and get it uploaded for you before time passes again and then I forget things so yeah not lots and lots to update you on but let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below that you'd like me to answer in the next vlog or the next update and yeah thank you so much for watching please do give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one bye making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep yeah I spend my time running around
keeping people pleased.